Hey everybody, how's it going? This is Jimmy here with the Fuji X-T1. I'm going to show you guys how to upgrade to the newest release, version 4.0, in its firmware. It's just been released the other day by Fuji, and we're very excited about it. Go ahead and follow along, and we'll make sure you do it correctly. So make sure, number one, that your battery is fully charged. That's number one. Number two, let's check to see what version firmware you have in case you're already updated or how far you need to go. All right, so make sure your switch is in the off position. You're going to hold down the display back button with your thumb. I'm holding it down now and press on at the same time. You'll notice you've come to a certain screen um, where the body version is 1.0 and the lens version is 3.11 for the 18 to 55 millimeter lens. The body version is very far behind, um, missing out a few updates, so this is a great opportunity to learn how to upgrade it to the 4.0. Okay. We're going to go ahead and turn this off. Okay, and remove your card so that we can put a file on it and upgrade from there. I'm try to do this one hand. I'm actually filming on my cell phone today. As long as the content is there, hopefully you guys can follow along. Place it in your card reader and let your computer register. And there we go. Now there's two websites you can go to on Fuji. The first one I will include the link in the description below. It tells you what the improvements will be. Go ahead and scan that on your own time. Also, the other website, it tells you um, some more information. Version 4.0. That's what we want, okay? Scroll all the way to the bottom after glancing through the information and click I agree, begin download right here. Okay, some more information here. I'm going to press begin download. Okay, I'm going to save the file. It's a really small file in comparison to most things we download, so it should, shouldn't take too long. Okay, so I'm going to go to my downloads folder, and there it is, the fwup0005.dat. Here's what we're going to do. This is the actual file. Now, if you have a PC, the idea is the same, so don't get, you know, overwhelmed here. It's pretty much the same thing. You're going to open your card file here. This is your card. Okay, I'm just going to my card and opening it there. I'm not opening to where the pictures are. This is um, the actual space here. I'm just going to take the file that I downloaded and I'm going to place it right here. It just literally copied it over. Again, this is the pictures folder, the DCIM. I'm not placing it in there. I'm literally placing it right here, the first part of the directory that opens up when you open the card. Okay, now that it's copied over, I can literally just eject my card from the computer by pressing here for you Mac users. Okay, for you PC users, I'm not even sure if you have to eject, but make sure you do it properly. Okay. And there we go. It should be on this card. So the firmware software is now on this card. I'm going to place it back in the XT1. Now we're going to do the same thing. Just like we checked the firmware last time, it's also the same way to set up for the upgrade. So before you turn it on, hold down the display back button and then I turn it on. Okay, the body version is at a lowly 1.00. I'm going to press OK for yes. And I'm going to choose the unit that I want to upgrade. This is for the body only, so I'm going to press body instead of the lens. Okay. You notice that I didn't upgrade to 3.0 or anything like that. I'm just going straight for the 4.0. So you don't need to download previous 
firmware updates to get to the 4.0 to make this work. So just go straight to the OK and press OK here. Do not open the battery cover, don't do anything, just make sure you stay still for a few minutes. Press OK. And you can see it's operating right now. Okay, just give this a few minutes. I'm going to go ahead and wait this out with you guys so you guys know exactly how long this will take. Now maybe it will take longer because this hasn't been updated as often. Uh, we're about to find out. Now after this, you'll see a lot more functionality in your cameras and it's more fun to play around with and learn from. So if you have any more questions, we'll hopefully be addressing them through this channel and uh, we'll be learning together. As you can see, the squares are now becoming a solid blue here meaning it's nearing completion, it's very exciting. Okay, looks like we're pretty much nearing the end. You have now upgraded to version 4.0. I'm going to turn it off and turn it back on and we should be all set to go to rock. Thank you guys very much.